everybody, welcome back. So the weather is looking a little bit more like spring uh, these days, which is nice. Um, today we're going to talk about yet another sorting algorithm. So we're looking at a bunch of different ways to tackle this one problem um, in the hopes of giving you sort of a broad understanding of some of the trade-offs in this space. Um, and that's, you know, on some level, a lot of what it means to really be a computer scientist as opposed to just a programmer, right? So, you know, programmers can solve problems and build cool stuff, and that's all great. But part of learning computer science, like the, the, the art, the science of computation, is about understanding the trade-offs, right? So not only knowing one way to solve a problem, which we already do. I mean, if it was just about showing you how to sort stuff, we'd be done. But what we're trying to do is enrich your understanding by showing you multiple different ways to solve the same problem that have some different performance trade-offs. Um, and so, you know, as computer science advances as a field, uh, understanding these trade-offs is really important because depending on the environment that you're in, one or another sorting algorithm could potentially be more appropriate, right? It might be a better fit for the data, it might be a better fit for your computational requirements, whatever. Uh, so anyway, enjoy a discussion of quicksort, which is sort of the wild child of the sorting algorithm family, um, and I will see you at the bottom.